Greetings, Great Witch here. Today we're going to do dry docking. It's a level 45 mission available from Martin. Now as you approach the Merryweather warehouse, what you want to do is you want to come to the second entrance. Turn in here, and we're going to use our car for cover. So you want to turn kind of at an angle, about right in this area. Jump out. We're going to take out some of these guys right here on the inside of this building. Get this party started. Alright, so there's some guys in there. Those are the first guys you want to take out. You want to try to kill them as fast as possible. Because they will be a major pain in the butt if you don't. And when you fire at them, they're going to drop right to the ground the second you start shooting. So keep that in mind. Just keep popping them until you can take them out. Now as soon as you do that, everybody in here is going to rile up and start coming from all directions. So definitely check your mini-map and watch where these guys are coming because they're going to try to get you in a crossfire. If they get you into a crossfire, the mission's over. You will not be able to get past these guys. There's just too many of them. And until you crack the safe, they're going to continuously keep to respawn. And your armor will not last long, these guys' bullets. One bullet will take a quarter of your armor. So stay where you can have cover and just slowly start taking these guys out. And there's a bunch of them. So as they come around, just keep dropping them mainly working on these guys that are on the inside of this building right here on this end because that's the door that you're going to go with because you really want to have all those guys in there taken care of because if you don't kill those guys it's just going to be a nightmare when you go in to try to crack the safe so as they approach just keep taking them out it'll take a few minutes because some of these guys are slow and they're coming from the other side of the building but you really want to get all these guys to come over here that way they're not rushing you when you're upstairs just keep working these guys out as they show up take them out and there's quite a few of them like I said but you'll get to a point to where they stop coming and then that'll be when you want to move now I'm gonna switch over to the shotgun and get ready to go inside oh there's another guy right there let's take him real quick so he doesn't come in behind us all right got that guy now we will run inside the building now you want to take cover right here by the side Get this guy in there. There's another guy back there. So use these poles as cover as you run back there so he can't get you. Got that one. Now as you're coming up these stairs, as you get to the top, there's going to be a guy at the top of the stairs. So pay attention. Try to get him too as soon as you come up. There he is. And then there's going to be another guy that comes out the doorway. Pick that guy out. Now you can finish off that guy. And now we're going to take his spot while you're over here wait for that guy to come up the stairs take him out now put on armor take your snacks if you need any of that stuff get that all the way up because you really want to have full armor and full health before you try to do the safe cracking now we're going to wait for this guy to get to the top of the stairs and when we do we're going to take him out and then we're going to throw a bunch of tear gas down into the stairwell so we can go crack the safe so there's that guy take him out now we're gonna throw the tear gas, just throw it right down in the stairwell. Now this will slow the guys coming up as soon as you start cracking a safe because there's gonna be a rush of guys that come after you. So this will slow them down. It's not necessarily gonna stop them, but it'll give you a little bit of time to crack this safe because this is the part of the mission that really sucks. So what you wanna do is as soon as you get to where it starts moving real hard, let off the controller and then slowly bump it over to the next bit. Now I got guys shooting at me right now, so I know I'm not going to make this, that this is going to fail. So I'm still trying to get this combination undone, because as soon as you get this undone, that's when it stops the continuous flow of people. But I'm not going to get it, because they're still shooting at me, and I'll never get all the way back around. So I push right on the D-pad to come back out, take these guys out. It happens. It's just one of those things about this mission. It can be a major pain in the butt. But if it does happen... All you need to do is just take these guys back out, go back to your original position right over here, wait for that dude to come back up and just redo it. So put your armor back on, get snacks, just do a complete redo of what you had to do earlier. And this will allow you to get that safe cracked. And this is the worst part of this mission, is this part right here. So once you get this part done, the rest of it's not too bad. But there's still another half of this mission to do. So throw those tear gas canisters down the stairs, again and hopefully this time it'll give you a little bit more time now run in we'll start cracking this safe 
Now this is the main reason why I hate doing this mission, is because of this safe. And it wouldn't be such a problem if it wasn't in a direct line of where everybody could shoot you. Because there's another mission where you have to crack the safe, it's not too bad. This one right here, it's a major pain in the butt. But it's not too bad. Like I said, once you get to where the controller starts rumbling real bad, just let off, and then slowly tap it over to try to get to the combination. You can knock it out pretty quick. As long as you don't have guys shooting at you. Tap it over just a little bit more. It's so hard to do it without messing it up. Alright, so now i got the safe cracked. The guys are going to slow down coming after me. Now all I have to do is steal the boat. Now if you have two guys, you don't even have to do the tear gas thing. You can have one guy sit right here where I'm at. And he can take care of all these guys coming up the stairs while you're cracking the safe. So if you got two guys, this mission goes a lot easier. But solo... This is pretty much the only way that I've ever got to be able to do it. So I'll wait for that guy to come up, and once he comes up, I'll go down to the other stairs. Now there'll be a guy on those stairs, so take him out. And then make your way all the way down to the ground. Now we're going to go out this door back here. Now this part right here is totally optional, but when you come through this door, what I like to do is to throw a proxy there, because there's going to be a guy that comes after you, and you've got some sniping you've got to do real quick. You don't want this guy sneaking up behind you while you're trying to do some sniping. So just to drop that proxy. I know it's expensive, but it helps out a lot. You don't have to do it, but it does help. So now pull out your sniper, and there's a guy over here that you want to snipe on the end of this pier. Now having the heat-seeking sniper scope is a big help, but it's also a hindrance too, because you can't see what they're hiding behind. You can see what the person is, but you can't see what they're hiding behind. And back there is the boat. So you have to be really careful about shooting back there because if you destroy the boat, mission's over. You've done wasted all that time that you just did. There's the explosion. Just killed that guy who came out from behind me. So take out these guys right here. So it's much easier not having the thermal scope on. Especially if you don't want to hit that boat. Because if you hit that boat and destroy it, oh, you're going to be mad. So for these last guy right here, I'm just going to pull out the machine gun, trigger him to stand up, and shoot him in the face. All right. Now, if it's raining out, you don't even have to worry about those guys down there because sometimes the waves will be so strong, it'll take those guys right off that dock. You won't even have to deal with them. Now, I'm going to get this last guy right here so when I go down into the boat, I don't get shot in the back. And I'm going to throw on some more armor just in case. Now, there's one guy right here, and he's going to try to come out that other door where I put that proxy. Too bad I didn't have another one over there that would take care of him. Need a time delay proxy. Switch over to the shotgun, wait for this dude to come up here. And we're gonna drop him and then go jump on the boat. Alright. There's one guy left in there, we're gonna leave him alive so he can tell the others what happened here. And now we'll jump on the boat. Alright. So now once you get on the boat, you're gonna have two other boats and a helicopter coming for you. So what I like to do is just go straight across. There's this building over here where they store tugboats. It's got a ladder on the side. It's a perfect place to go to get out of the boat to where you can take out these guys. So just come right straight across. Slow down when you get about right here. And there's the ladder. Just let the boat drift up. Climb up this ladder. And we'll take out this helicopter to start out with. Now you can use this rail to hide behind. It will give you a tiny bit of cover, believe it or not. So then I'll wait for the helicopter to get here, and then I will use the machine gun to take out the guys that are shooting. I've tried using the rockets, but they've nerfed them so bad they're worthless now, so I'm not even going to try it. Now, well, me right here trying to shoot this guy. The helicopter's drifting away because I'm using a rifle. Now I'm going to start dying really fast if I don't throw some armor on. So throw on some armor, keep the thing up because you got these boats coming. It's, it's a major pain in the butt. I go through like five armors through doing this mission, which is kind of a lot, but just the bullets that hit you just so easily take out your armor all the way down to nothing. And there's really, you know, the only way to do it is to just kind of farm out these armors and stuff like that or spawn on them. Now taking out the helicopters is pretty easy if there's nobody shooting at you because all you have to do is shoot the tail rotor. You hit that tail rotor in the right spot, pops it out just like that, drops the helicopter. Which is easier said than done when you got people shooting at you. So now everybody's gone, all you have to do is deliver the boat. All the hard work's done. It was a major pain in the butt. 
It's one of the main reasons why I don't like doing this mission. It's a lot of work for just a regular payout. Now you gotta deliver this boat and you have to go all the way to the marina. So instead of driving all the way around the airport and all that stuff to try to get away, if you don't have a cargo bob to call in to pick up the boat and fly it over there, turn this way and you can drive to the marina a little bit faster. It, the only reason it seems faster is because you're not fighting the waves. Because you'll come up to this one area and there's a little inlet where you can take the little ditch here and drive the boat all the way to the marina. And since you don't have to fight the waves, it's a big help. And it's probably the same exact distance, it just seems that it goes faster because you're not having to fight the waves. Now as you come out right here, you might think, wow man, I bet I could jump that right there and go to the other side. You can't jump it. You'll get stuck, the boat will blow up, you'll fail the mission. Don't try it. Trust me, I've already tried. Now you most likely will not have to wait out any time, but if you do, right here is a perfect spot. Just sit here, wait out for your 16 minutes, and then just run up on the yellow spot and get paid. And that's it. This mission's over. Alright, this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helps you out, and I will see you next time. Peace!